Plate me. Plate oh, me. No. I was bleeding. Oh, oh no. Oh, it is. <sighs> this is a bad day. Oh. All right. That is an egg cooked on my 3D printer. So much better. Alright, well, I've got a material science class in five minutes and then another CAC 2 test after that. But once I get that stuff out of the way, I'm gonna do some cooking or something later with this machine I got behind me. But I'm getting started. Now that that's out of the way, I kind of want to explain what I'm thinking to do with my 3D printer. So I was browsing the internet the other day, like you do, and I came across something interesting. It was the lowest temperature that you could fry an egg. So supposedly, according to the interwebs, 55 degrees Celsius is, is enough to fry an egg. And so I got to thinking, like, you know, my 3D printer's over here. Uh, I'm not using it all the time, and it's got a heated bed. And this heated bed goes up to, I think, like 80 degrees Celsius. And, I mean, I print PLA at 60, 65 degrees Celsius in the bed, like, all the time. So that kind of birthed the idea. So this print bed, you probably won't be able to see it. Here, let's go down a little bit. But it is covered in about two to three years worth of Elmer's glue. So if I do want to cook something edible on the bed of this printer, I'm going to need like a clean, a, a, a sterile surface. Uh, so I'm going to run to Walmart or something. I'll pick up some eggs and some tin foil, aluminum foil. Uh, hopefully that'll conduct enough heat that I'll be able to efficiently uh, cook an egg. Well, uh, Jason's here now, <laughs> so <laughs> I sent a little thing on my streaks about uh, I was cooking some eggs on my 3D printer, and uh, he, yeah. he wanted to come take a look I, at I it. I heard there was something interesting going on with cooking in 3D printers, yeah. so I decided to uh, bring, you know, nice little spatula of, you, of course you do that. And a few plates. And, and, a, and a few plates. So we're, we're, we're ready to eat it. There is a slight problem that is it is not cooking evenly. Uh, so we're going to attempt to flip it, <laughs> even though this might end really, really, really badly. Okay, well, oh. Oh, no way. It actually is kind of holding the egg in. So we might actually oh, be able to flip okay. this. And flip. Oh! oh! Oh, oh, the bottom is more intact than I thought it was. Yeah, it's almost... Okay. I don't know what you would call this. I mean... Poached? 
possibly poached? Uh, a poached egg? Hello, and welcome to Nerd Cooking with Nathan Fisk, where I teach you, the fellow nerd, how to repurpose your 3D printer to cook stuff on. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your egg, crack it with a prop wrench, you're going to put it on the middle of your fully heated CR10 printer bed, or any printer bed that is heated, uh, and you're going to want to set it for 80 to 85 degrees Celsius. Hotter than that, you may end up hurting some of your onboard electronics. Colder than that, don't even bother, I tried, it's terrible. Uh, so once it's heated and you put your egg on, you're going to wait about 25 to 30 minutes before flipping the egg and then wait another 25 to 30 minutes and you are ready to eat your egg. Now this may not be the prettiest thing, but let me tell you, in the mornings, you know, before you take a shower, go put an egg on your printer uh, and then attend a Zoom meeting <laughs> and then flip the egg over and then attend another Zoom meeting and after that you'll be ready for some really crisp, delicious breakfast that you will, you will sincerely enjoy. So I've been doing a little experimenting. So the first attempt did not work. I got a poor heat transfer of the aluminum foil because I, I covered the bed in aluminum foil, which uh, it didn't end up very well. Although technically it was non-stick, so that could have had something to do with it. So I decided to flip the bed over and cook onto the glass. Now glass is an excellent material for conducting heat. It's on. All right, oh, plate, plate, plate me. Oh, plate no. me. I was bleeding. Oh, oh no. Oh, it right. is. Ah, this is a bad day. No. Save it. All right, that is an egg cooked on my three D printer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a taste. taste I, I have some cheese, but I, I, I feel like for the first one, it would be wrong to, to flavor it. Yeah. You really want it. You want it taste. You want the raw the experience. experience. Exactly. Would you like? Oh, here's a fork. Oh. Jason, would you like a bite? Oh, I, I most certainly would. All right. I don't know how good this is going to be, but we're going to find out. There you go. It's not, not easy holding up. You know what? Actually, I'm going to just eat this joke in one big thing. It's not, it's not half bad. I'll be honest, I've had worse. To be honest, I was really hungry. I guess now you're not. That's really good. I have had worse. Oh, I've had way worse. <laughs> I've had better though. I mean, rate it. What? What's the Yelp? Oh, review? oh, okay. What is the Yelp review here? Uh, Nathan's Yelp review. Get oh, it? Yelp. Yeah, I Nathan's like Yelp yeah, review. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna give it. It's it's gonna be hard to be unbiased, but I, I'm I'm gonna give it like a a 1.4 out of five. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it is down there in the texture because it's inconsistent, uh, and it's, it's a little bland. So if I had put some salt on it and some cheese, and then I cooked it with some sort of boundary around the egg mm. to give it more of a consistent, you know, uh, density, it could, it could, I could see this hitting like a 4.8. All right, well, that was a brilliant success in my opinion. I'm on my way to play some ping pong with my buddy Andrew. Now Andrew is kind of a professional, but he's not a professional. He just holds ping pong paddles like professionals do, like with the little, like the, the little pinchers. So you're probably gonna see me lose anywhere from four to six games. But I, I do make them close. I do my absolute best to make them close. So we'll see. Alright, 
Well, the ping pong is over. The grandmaster, Andrew here, has won it the day. I think he won four? Four, four out four, of six. Four out of six. So I still won two, and I'm very happy with that. I think there's only ever been one time that I've actually gotten two wins on the same day, but uh, that'll be it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button, and toodles. What's up, man? You guys have a great day. Welcome to MT. Woo!